Hi, this is Mani from uh, bse2nse.com. So in this video we are going to talk about relative strength index uh, which is nothing but a technical indicator uh, how it can be used and so on. And before we proceed uh, I just want to say one thing uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like our videos and uh, more videos on trading strategies will keep coming from our side. Now coming back to uh, relative strength index, um, it's a basically a momentum based indicator and uh, if you look at the mathematical formula in Wikipedia, um, it's mostly uh, looking to identify an uptrend and a downtrend or an upward momentum getting picked up, uh, basically based on higher highs and lower lows uh, and so on. So as you can see, uh, when you when you're looking at uh, the RSI, uh, you need to uh, understand that uh, it's a momentum-based indicator, and it's an indicator um, wherein the number will vary between zero to hundred. So any number, um, so closer to hundred or uh, a number at the higher side, indicates a higher momentum um, in the particular uh, period and typically the default value that is used is 14 let me uh, just put it put it down here default uh, period is 14 meaning if i look if i'm looking at the daily chart it means that uh, it takes into account the uh, movement uh, in the last 14 days right uh, so basically uh, you can uh, i'll show the charts um, after i finish this initial introduction so a falling RSI uh, indicates that uh, the market is turning into a downtrend or the momentum is turning into a downward uh, momentum. A rising uh, RSI indicates an upward movement or an upward momentum. Now again uh, this downward and upward momentum can be like a pullback or an actual trend. Uh, that's getting formed so that you need to be able to judge looking at the chart. I'll show that again um, just in a couple of minutes and typically I when I look at uh, the RSI chart uh, I look for markets to fall down and then followed by RSI also falling down to something like 20 and it needs to pull back the RSI needs to pull back from 20 to close to 60 or above. So that is a good indicator of a reversal or um, a beginning of a rally, a beginning stages of a rally, not exactly the exact start point, but uh, a, a smart investor or a trader can just look to go long uh, once the markets have fallen down and RSI has picked up from 20 to above, above 60. So uh, just when it when it's crossing 60 at that time you can enter look to enter into a fresh long and keep holding for stop loss you need to follow some other mechanisms and similarly uh, to predict the start of a bearish fall uh, I would wait for markets to peak out and RSI to stay at 80 uh, at least for some period and then um, it, the RSI needs to reverse and start falling from 80 and uh, breach below 40 so because sometimes are you you'll see RSI falling from 80 to uh, 70 60 and then again bounce back from that to again uh, continue the uh, high momentum on the upside and it may market will still continue to rally so for you to predict a start of a bearish fall you need to wait for markets to fall the RSI to fall from 80 to 40 and once it's below 40 uh, that's when a smart trader will look to go short otherwise uh, you could get into trouble with a lot of false signals and so on even with these two rules uh, you probably uh, just can increase your possibility of success a lot more uh, rather than just trading blindly okay so uh, let's now move on to the chart I'll uh, enough of this theory so I look to uh, show you on the chart here okay so here you can see right um, this is a nifty chart with the RSI at the bottom 
and you can see here RSI between 0 to 100 the top right bottom here 0 to 100 and then nifty here um, you can see it fluctuating between 5 9 to uh, 6 7 double zero this is a three month chart and each candlestick represents one day and you can see that the RSI here has stayed at 80 for the last couple of months and before that you can see that when markets were falling let me let me try to draw some parallel lines here you can see a downtrend I mean of course this is we are able to predict or look at this um, uh, I'm able to, I'm able to draw this downtrend uh, after the markets I mean after we see the markets moving in the last three months and again let me draw an uptrend here correct so this um, um, let me uh, like put an arrow mark right so which kind of tells you like this is an upward movement here and here uh, we had a downward movement a couple of months before that correct so basically while um, the markets are moving lower here you can see that the RSI has fallen here and it's settling down at 80 meaning like consolidating around 20 for a few days and then it begins an uptrend wherein here it crosses 60 so again uh, you can see the change in momentum here clearly in the RSI which indicates a reversal in the markets and as a smart trader what I look to do is uh, you can see here 50 the mid the central line here so you can see uh, I would look to go long in the market somewhere here right somewhere here when uh, nifty is at 6100 when we, you, we, historically you can see that it has fallen uh, from 60 70 and before that uh, markets were on a peak and at 6350 it fell down to 6000 you can see the RSI settling down at 20 it has settled down for uh, close to 10 days and then it has picked up and the market momentum it has started creating new highs and uh, higher highs actually and the RSI uh, moves rapidly on the upside and crosses 60 here and then you can see that it's sustaining the upward momentum uh, the RSI is not falling here and it's keeping the uh, buying momentum that's happening in the markets and it's slowly moving towards 80 and here you can see that it's sustaining at 80 and you can see that even while it's sustaining at 80 um, you can see that the markets are still uh, creating fresh highs and the markets is still going up that is because the higher uh, it, it just indicates that uh, because uh, you can get the doubt uh, wherein um, the RSI is actually not increasing but markets are actually increasing which uh, pretty much indicates the end of a rally uh, for example the rally that you can see uh, let me mark it here the rally that you see here uh, right so this is not the start of a rally so markets have already been in a positive momentum and since it is sticking to the positive momentum you do not see a change in RSI so now uh, now that markets have uh, rallied a lot in the last couple of months I'll wait for this RSI to dip below 40 somewhere here uh, I'll draw my negative lines here I'll wait for uh, this level 40 to get breached in RSI for RSI to I'll wait for this RSI line uh, let me just draw a line here correct for this 80 to slowly like trickle down like this and this if it does dip below 40 then that is the time I look to go short and uh, until then I'll just uh, wait for that opportunity to come by now this is again at a, a positional level you can apply this at intraday level you can apply this uh, on a weekly chart so you can do many things with RSI and again like I said you can watch my other videos on candlestick analysis wherein I give enough emphasis on doji and uh, for reversal for market reversals you can see that you have a doji pattern here 
you have uh, other dojis getting formed and then followed by a market uptrend so uh, you can see a doji here and then markets creating uh, on the going on the upper side and then again breaking out here so which indicates the start of a reversal and you also have a indicator at the RSI level so uh, RSI is again uh, you'll need to couple that with Bollinger Bands Bollinger Bands is exceedingly good candlestick analysis with doji patterns is exceedingly good so combine all of these to make your decisions uh, to buy or to go long or to go short and any queries any questions uh, feel free to post in this video and um, just know that we are giving free training on trading strategies for clients who are uh, willing to join us at Zeroda. so if you are interested log on to bsc2nc.com fill out the form to uh, join Zeroda through bsc2nc.com and we are an authorized person uh, for Zeroda. So uh, that's it for now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye.